Hi there, my name's Laura Kellen May, and welcome to another Equestrian Skill Builders video. Today I'm going to give you a heels down checklist. Let's get to it. If you'd like to improve your riding and training, win more ribbons at your next horse show, or generally like other horsey related stuff, then stick around. I'm going to talk about keeping your heels down and I'm going to give you a heels down checklist. Why is heels down so important? Well, let me tell you, as a riding instructor, coach, and trainer, keeping your heels down is the fundamental thing that riders need to know about. Your heels are going to keep you down in that saddle and keep you secure around the horse so that you don't pop off if they spook shy or run away. Yeah. Jamming your heels down is not what we want to see. We'd like to see the weight coming down from your seat, down around your legs equally through your thighs, knees, and calves, not pinching with your knees, but rather equal, equal weight all the way through your legs and ending up with your heels. So the weight comes past your stirrup and into your heels. Maintaining a proper leg position is really important to keep you on the horse, fundamentally to keep you on the horse. Number two, to be able to ride effectively and give your aids properly and for an independent seat and leg. If one of those things is missing, you're not going to have a very good ride. You may fall off or the horse may not understand what that is the heck that you want to do. Sometimes you see people riding and they lift their heels up to urge their horse on. Stop doing that, yeah. nagging the horse with every stride. Or worse, riders banging on the horse's sides. I hate that. Here are three things that may be hindering you or stopping you from not being able to put your heels down. One, your stirrup length. Your stirrups have to be adjusted properly. The top of the stirrup tread should hit the bottom of your ankle bone. Oh, it doesn't yeah. matter if you're riding in dressage or on the flat, the top of the stirrup tread should hit the bottom of your ankle bone. If you're going over fences, or galloping, going cross country or racing, then your stirrups can be shorter. But generally speaking, the top of the stirrup tread should be at the bottom of your ankle bone. If your stirrup's too long, you have to reach for the stirrup and then you can't get your heels down. If the stirrup's too short and you're not relaxed through your knees and ankles and hips, then you're just going to be popping off the saddle. Second thing is your balance. Are you in balance with the horse? Are you sitting in a chair seat? That means you're not in balance. Are you tipping forward, falling backward? Is your salad salad? Is your saddle helping you stay balanced? Sometimes saddles aren't fit to you or fit to the horse properly and put you out of balance. So if you are riding out of balance, there's no way you can put the weight down into your heels and keep your heels down. So check your balance. Are you pinching with your knees? Take a look at this video here. It'll help you stop pinching with your knees. If you're ready to improve your riding and you want to experience the riding in balance and in confidence and be that super duper equitation superstar that I know you can be, then here's what you're going to do next. Book a one-on-one, -on -one, no obligation, no cost discovery call with me. The link is in the description below. Is your horse going forward enough? Sometimes a lazy, dull horse you need to urge on and you as a rider don't have the opportunity to put your leg back in the correct riding position. So if your horse is dull and lazy, that's not gonna help you out at all either. Here's some exercises that can help you with your heels. I am a big believer in two-point position. Ride in your two-point position. Do transitions, walk, trot transitions in your two-point position or jumping position or the rising part of your rising trot. Stay in that position at the walk, close your legs and get your horse to trot. That's going to tell you if you're in balance and if the weight is coming right down into your heels. If you lose your balance, then you don't have your heels down and the weight around the horse. Another great exercise is to get lunged on a schoolmaster so that you can do exercises without worrying what the horse is doing. Riding without stirrups on the lunge line and doing exercises to help get your balance and stretch your legs down and around is a really good way to help get the weight down into your heels and your heels down. Third exercise is riding without stirrups. Keep in mind 
of course, that you want a suitable horse for these things. Send me an email or send me a little video or photo of you doing these exercises. I'd really like to see you do them. Make a discovery call with me now and find out what you can do in your next writing session to improve your writing. You're going to have to send in a couple of images, a couple of photographs, and I'll review your writing position and give you some excellent tips for you. Send me an email, thistleridge at hotmail.com. See you next time. Bye.